Good morning guys, welcome to another day in San Diego. Um, it's actually quite cloudy today, um, but hopefully by the afternoon it should be sunny again. Um, looks like the sun is just trying to break through. Uh, today we are going to SeaWorld and um, just parked up. We're going to be walking across the bridge uh, and going in there. So it's about, it's about half nine in the morning. Just a, a quick tip. If you are venturing to SeaWorld in San Diego, rather than paying the $40 parking fee, you can literally park across the bridge and it's free. It's about a 10 minute walk, but it saves you 40 bucks, which you can then spend in, uh, in SeaWorld on burritos, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's where we've parked, right over there. As you can see, the car park is empty. It's, it's midweek. Um, so the ticket price is about half what they normally are at the weekends as well. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend that. So, I think Isabel's quite excited about seeing some dolphins. So let's go check it out. It's a shark encounter. Interconnected ocean, a vast 
blue expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. Encounter. We are so honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic animal. found in every ocean. Orcas living off the coast of Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the... The lobes on either side of their tail are called tail flukes, and they're a part of the killer whale's engine, propelling them up to speeds of about 30 miles per hour. They swim the fastest, and they use the most power when propelling their up to 10,000 pound bodies out of the water. just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Spy hopping is how killer whales coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings while they hunt. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy move. Together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.
Western American theme park experience. Yeah, very good. Well, that's it, that's your report. <laughs> it's very good. You know, it's totally different to the UK, as in the theming is everywhere. So. So there we go guys, that was our day at the SeaWorld Center here in San Diego. It's pretty good. Um, we enjoyed it, the baby enjoyed it. Um, good to see, we saw killer whales, we saw dolphins, we saw sea otters, sea lions, uh, and, the, and the shows were brilliant. Um, and obviously they do quite a bit for, uh, for conservation of wildlife and rehabilitation of mammals and getting them back into the, into the wild, so that's all good. A um, few top tips that we, we found pretty helpful. As I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, one is to uh, depart the other side of the bridge, save yourself at least $20 on the parking fee, to 40 if you're in an RV. And also that you can pay extra for like front of queue and all that kind of stuff. Plus you say it's not really worth it. Um, another thing is to go midweek. There were no queues for any of the rides, as you saw. Um, so there's no need to pay extra for fast passes, although I can imagine on a weekend and peak season, it's probably gonna be pretty busy. This is mid-September, still beautiful. It's 20 odd degrees outside Celsius. Um, if you are going to get there and you want to get the ride, do the rides early in the morning. Right, uh, they do get a bit busier later on. Uh, if you want to see the, the Orca exhibition, definitely get there at least half an hour early. It does fill up pretty quickly and I imagine that's even busier at uh, peak season. Um, what else? Uh, there's quite a few eateries, but it can be quite expensive. So definitely plan to probably spend at least 20 to $30 per head for lunch, or bring your own. Um, there are penny spots around. Uh, you can also buy like refillable cups and stuff, but um, they're about, I think, 12 or $15, and you just keep refilling them up. Uh, for us, we just wanted to buy the odd drink, so we kind of figured, you know, two bottles is at least six dollars so that should be fine yeah and that's it really so yeah definitely recommend SeaWorld check it out Boom. 
Uh, the other thing I would recommend is bring in swimwear uh, or at least some clothing that dries off pretty quickly because there's at least two water rides and you will get wet. Very wet. So, tip. That's my final tip. Cheers.